the gates of thy land shall be set wide open unto thine enemies. Giving all praises to you, by Shem, Shai, by Shem, And um, the verse that I read is from Nahum 3, verse 13. <clears throat> anyway, you see on the screen, this is a video put up by The Hill. If I remember, I'll leave the uh, link in the description box. It said, uh, It says, the, the title, excuse me, it says UFOs disabled U.S. nuclear missiles at high at height of Cold War, according to former United States Air Force officials. It says, U.S. disabled weapons at nuclear facilities according to these former United States Air Force officers calling on Congress for public hearings, several former U.S. Air Force officers say they witnessed UFOs during incidents at nuclear bases. So, what came to mind... <clears throat> was Numbers the third chapter. Now when you read Numbers the third chapter, it's twofold. A lot of these prophecies I'll give you an example. Um Amos the ninth chapter where it speaks of uh the eyes of the Lord are upon the sinful, uh, sinful kingdom or the wicked kingdom and shall destroy from off the face of the earth. It was referring to Israel at one time. And we were destroyed and scattered. So now that the scripture applies to the Edomites. If you go to Deuteronomy 30 verse 7, it tells you about the curses that came upon us who now come upon Esau. This is, the, this is the ruling nation right now, the Edomite nation. Anyway, uh, I uh, just read that part of the article. I'm not going to read the whole thing, but um, you should watch the video. And um, you can see that Esau is nervous. Because they do know the the military, the, the five, six, seven branches of the military, they're all uptight and afraid of what's out there. And they know what's out there. They know that the angels are out there. They know that the Lord is coming back because they they know the Bible. They know the Bible. Esau knows the Bible. And how does he know the Bible? By us. By his scholars and by us. And they're watching us. They're watching us. Anyway, I'm just going to read this uh, precept here. I'll read a couple of verses. And then I'll close it. It's uh, 7.20 a.m. on a Sunday. October 24th, 2021, the year of the hastening of the coming of Yahweh by Shem Shai. Anyway, I'll start from, give me a second. I'll start from the third verse. I'm sorry, the, third, the 12th verse. All thy strongholds shall be like fig trees. Now your strongholds is your um, is your your military forces, army, navy, air force, marines, uh, space force. It says, um, "All thy strongholds shall be like fig trees, with the fig 
so be like fig trees with the first striped figs. If they be shaken, they shall even fall into the mouth of the eater. So the angels are getting ready to eat. 13 verse. Behold thy people in the midst of thee are women. Yeah, because in the military you have uh, women drill sergeants. You have women that have rankings over men. See, when you go back into the ancient world, the only ones that fought wars were men. You had this one video that was put up uh, of a drill sergeant, which was a so-called black woman, leading a bunch of Edomite men and singing about some goddamn MLK. You um, know, there's, I don't know, I can't give you exact number, but there's a, a bunch of Ed um, Jake women that's in the military. See, that's your enemy, man. This, this, your, your woman is your enemy. The scripture says in uh, Isaiah 32 verse 9, Woe to you women that are at ease. You know, this whole supply chain fiasco, these uh, news casters are saying that, uh, all of them are saying the same thing. The shelves are going to be empty. Uh, Kamala Harris said, this is maybe a month, month and a half, two months ago, do your Christmas shopping early. So things are getting ready to happen. When they cut the food, oh, and another thing, if you can get food, the prices are going up sky high every day, the gas prices. Every day that I go out to get gas, it goes up another 5, 10 cent, 15 cent. I passed a uh, station, I believe it was down there if I remember. It was either... Well, I do remember, but exactly where I was on the border of Brooklyn going into Manhattan because I had dropped somebody off in Brooklyn. And I passed this one gas station. The gas was uh, almost $5 a gallon. And there's some places in this country that gas is $7, $8 a gallon. So, and that's some um, hyperinflation. And don't even look that up because Google is not going to tell you what hyperinflation is. Because they don't want you to know. It says in the 13th verse, Behold, thy people in the midst of thee are women. And then you have Edomite men and even some of these dumbass Jake men that become women. That, you know, change their plumbing, so to speak. And you know, that's, you're supposed to be put to death when you do things like that. It said, the gates of thy land shall be set wide open unto thine enemies. The fire shall devour thy bars. Thy, your bars represent your defense system. Now in this article... that you see before you on the screen it's telling you that these uh, UFOs as they call them UAPs unidentified uh, aerial phenomenon they're telling you in this article that as I read UFOs disable disabled weapons at nuclear facilities so your your weapons are not going to work on that day that's why it says in the end of the the last line of the 13th verse 
the fire, the nuclear fire, shall devour thy bars. So you're not going to have a defense. Fourteen verse, draw the draw the waters for the siege. We were laid siege upon, and now Esau, you're going to be laid siege upon. But it's going to be a nuclear siege. Fortify thy strongholds, go into go into clay. And tr and tread. I, now I got to look up this word clay to see if it means the same as Habakkuk two. I bought yet. I got to look that up. I'm not going to do it now, but it may. If if the word is I bought yet, it means to uh, go into to debt and tread uh, the martyr. Make strong the brick brickling. Fifteen verse. There shall the fire, the fire devour thee. The fire is a nuclear fire. The first the apostle Peter spoke about the first world going out by water. This this current world is going to go out by fire. The sword, which represent the missiles, shall cut thee off. It shall eat thee up like the canker worm. And the canker worm, like the uh, locust, you know, if you have crop, they eat that. They eat it up fast. They come in swarms, and they eat things up quick. Make thyself many as the canker worm. Make thyself many as the locust. Sixteen verse. Thou hast multiplied thy mer merchants above the stars of heaven. The canker worm spoileth and fleeth away. Thy crowned are as the locust, and thy captain as the great grasshoppers, which camp in the hedges. In the cold day, but when the sun arises, they flee away, and their place is not known where they are. So there's going to be a point where Joel, the second chapter, comes to mind. It speaks about the northern army. You're going to be done away with. You're going to be destroyed. Thy, shep thy shepherds slumber, O king of Assyria, which this is talking about uh, America. Thy nobles, your politicians, and so forth, your presidents, your politicians, shall dwell in the dust in confusion. Thy people is scattered upon the mountains and no man gathers them. Now, when uh, the situation in Afghanistan, we found out in, on the, in the news how many American civilians were over there in Afghanistan. So, you you devils are all over the place. Let me read that again, the 18th verse. Thy shepherds lumber, O king of Assyria, which is America. Thy nobles shall dwell in the dust and confusion. Thy people is scattered upon the mountains, the other governments, and no man gathereth them. There was a big situation with uh, the, uh, the the current president Biden was being criticized about not bringing home the uh, U.S. civilians. 
19 verse. There is no healing of thy bruise. Things are not going to get better in this country, Babylon the Great. Thy wound is grievous, meaning it can't be healed. You can't fix your problems, your major problems, on an international scale. All that here, the brute, the brute of thee shall clap the hands over thee. So they're going to be happy when you go down. For upon whom have not thy wickedness passed continually. So your wickedness is going to go away because you're going to go away. Meaning you're going to lose power. Anyway, with that, I'm going to say Shalom.